Boost for Matt South Irrigation Schemes Herald, Top Stories, An Automatic Rain Gauge Being Installed at Mankinconi Irrigation Scheme, Automatic Weather Stations in Irrigation Schemes in Matabeland South, are being installed by the Meteorological Services Department to facilitate area-specific weather reporting, which goes a long way in boosting productivity and mitigating climate change-induced shocks. This comes as climate change has become a topical global issue and government has vowed to scale up its fiscal support to capacitate the Met Department's S role in mitigating natural disasters and enhancing farming, in particular. Implemented in partnership with the United Nations Development Program and with government support, the project is set to assist data collection and give area-specific weather forecasts to improve food security and nutrition. It is being rolled out under the Green Climate Fund, which is a unique global platform to respond to climate change by investing in low emission and climate resilient development. An automated weather station is an integrated system of components that are used to measure, record, and often transmit key weather parameters. Weather stations are used on land and sea for a variety of operational and research purposes. Matabel and South Provincial Meteorological Officer Mr. Rogers Munir said the thrust of the project was to boost production and ensuring food security and nutrition. It's a Green Climate Fund program being implemented by the UNDP with the Ministry of Agriculture as the leading implementing agency in the country, he said. The thrust is food and nutrition security within the agricultural sector. As the Meteorological Services Department, we're in charge of the installation of the automatic weather stations and the automatic rain gauges across Matabel and South, Misvingo, and Manicaland provinces. Mr. Munira said Matabel and South was allocated equipment for four automatic weather stations and four automatic rain gauges. We were the biggest beneficiaries of the program. Out of the gadgets we've received, we've installed automatic weather stations at Chiquarakwara, Shash, Mwali, and Mashalamish irrigation schemes, he said. At Mankinkoni Irrigation Scheme, we installed an automatic rain gauge, as well as Mzinyathini and Umzingwain. We're installing two other automatic rain gauges in Matobo. We're trying to mitigate food and nutrition shortage due to climate change, said Mr. Munira. We've realized that our measuring instruments and meteorological stations are too far apart. With the rainfall variabilities due to climate change affecting food production, we're saying we need more stations to talk about exactly what is happening at a place and its surroundings. He said from Bite Bridge District Chiquiraquara to Plumtree there were no other meteorological station except in Kizi as stations are far apart and estimated readings may not represent actual weather phenomena happening at each place. In view of climate change, Mr. Munira said the meteorological experts need to have more information to make an informed decision on the actual weather patterns at every place. We want to have area-specific forecasts. Matabel and South starts from Bulalima, and to get to Chiquiraquara, it's more than 700 kilometers, he said. These two areas fall under two different regions, but we're giving a blanket forecast. We've installed the equipment at irrigation schemes such that we'll be using the data to help get the forecast for that particular place. This will be useful to the agricultural activities happening in those areas. Matabel and South Provincial Agricultural Officer Mr. Mkunjalelwin Glovu said the automatic weather stations would provide critical information needed for agricultural programming. Weather is a denominator factor in agriculture because in order to make any intervention, you need to understand the weather patterns in terms of rainfall, heat waves and cold waves, he said. You can plan your enterprise accordingly when you know what's happening with the weather. We have a new map showing the zoning aspect within the country. We have Region 1A up to 5B. 
In most cases, the Met Department has very isolated weather stations. In Gwanda District, we have West Nicholson, and if you go down to Nwali, Mankinkoni, and Rosslers, the weather and rainfall patterns have a vast difference. Mr. Ndlovu said there was a need to understand the rainfall patterns and temperatures for the southern part, which is classified under Region 5B, in order to plan accordingly. This determines what can be done in terms of farming. During the rainy season, we need to understand the amount of rainfall received in relation to irrigation scheduling, he said. If we get enough rain, we know how many days we can come in with irrigation, or when irrigation needs to be supplemented, as well as the season length in terms of choosing crop variety. In terms of livestock, we need to plan in relation to biomass. If the season length is very short, we have to quickly mobilize resources to support our livestock.